Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. Hey there Hunters, and welcome back to the Gunner's Guild. So today we got the new Remnant DLC, Subject 2923. The first part of this campaign has a bit of a puzzle solving, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to get lost and confused here in Ward Prime. So I wanted to do a bit of a walkthrough for it. So let's just get into it. First, before we get into Ward Prime, you'll have to start in a very gloomy farmland. This is hands down my favorite area in the game. I love the atmosphere, the general eeriness of it, the whole thing. Sadly, it's not that long, and there's only two variations of this biome, one that will have a barnyard siege that will grant you the hangman's memento amulet, and the other is a homestead point of interest. So just make your way through the farmland and keep an eye out for a purple item, there's always going to be one hidden somewhere around here. Then if you do get the homestead, make sure you touch the checkpoint, because inside the home, behind a bookshelf you have to break open, is a door to the basement which will require a key, and of course you're not going to have the key right now, so you're going to have to come back later. So make sure you have the checkpoints, so come back. Anyway, just keep going forward and you're going to eventually find the old military base and that's going to lead you into Ward Prime. There's not a whole lot here in the beginning of Ward Prime, just make your way to the checkpoint. Now, as soon as you come down the stairs to the main floor of the ward, you will see these root apparitions. Don't worry about them, since they don't aggro you, they can't hurt you, you can't shoot them, just, they're there. Just get familiar with your surroundings. When you can, make your way to the main computer area, which has a root nexus nearby. The nexus is an interactable device you will need to use a lot down here, so get used to it. This is going to take you to the root world or the upside down, whatever you want to call it. Once you enter the root world, these root apparitions can attack you. And while you can shoot them, you can only slow them down. You cannot kill them, so don't bother. There are some flying root enemies that are the real threats. They throw bombs, darts, have melee attacks, and they hurt a lot. But at least they can be killed, so get those guys out of the way. Anywho, you make your way to the left and go around the corner and you will see a bright root heart that you need to destroy. Kill it ASAP because enemies here are scary and you want out of this fucking root world. Now once you break it, it'll open up the door to the next area and you will automatically be taken out of the root world. Before you go down the stairs, there is a nearby office that you can grab the key to the homestead basement if you have that part of the farmland. Take it and you can go back to the homestead, open up the basement door and claim your vanguard ring. Take the stairs down to the medical bay. Initially, there's not much to collect on this floor other than some consumables, but you mainly need to get familiar with the layout again and find the root heart and the root nexus which are across from each other. Touch the root nexus and get ready to fight and run through more root enemies, but make sure you get to the heart ASAP and get that thing destroyed. Once you pass the door here, there are some consumables and boxes, but what most people are going to be missing is that you need to jump through this window and then shoot this bookcase which will grant you the maintenance key for Ward Prime. With this key, you can make your way back to the upper main floor by the computer area where that first root nexus was. There's a small side door here which is actually where the key goes, not the double doors. Now you can make your way down the hallway here and see that there's a root heart on the right and a doorway to the reactor up front. Your choice, but you can use the root nexus by the main computer room back down by the hallway and come back and break the root heart, which is kind of what I did here real quick. Or you can go to the reactor area first. Anyway, the reactor area has one root nexus and three root hearts. One in the middle platform where you are, one above you, and one below you. You need to break all three hearts to free the root from the reactor so you can bring power back to the ward. So simple enough, enter the root world, avoid the apparitions, kill the flying spaghetti monsters, break the hearts. Rinse and repeat this three times and you're done. Once you finish that, come out and turn right to the control room where you can use the computer to activate the reactor. Now you can go down the stairs across from the control room that you're in that had that root heart that was blocking it. This will take you back down to the medical bay but on the back side. At the end of the hall to the right is a trait book and then you can also open the door here to give you another access point to the medical floor. Turn back and go up the stairwell on your right and after the first flight of stairs you'll notice a hole in the wall. You can shoot through the back of a lock here and open up the gated door. So do that and then go around to the gated door you just opened, go up the stairs, and into the exam room where you can drop down and collect your ring of honor. You can then leave here via the ramp on the side. So with power back on, make your way to the medical chief's office, it's right by that shortcut door you just opened earlier. In here you can use the computer terminal to unlock the medicine storage closet which is just around the corner. Here you'll get the ward prime card key, which you can use right outside the door here to the storage room. This will take you to the laboratory. This area has one root nexus and three root hearts all in the same spot. You can also open a back door here which will lead you back up to the initial checkpoint. 
Other than that, there's nothing really else on this floor besides those hearts in the Nexus. So go ahead and, you know, break all the hearts. You know the drill at this point. And the one on the right will lead you to a room with two chests. That's all. So you can kind of avoid that one if you want. The middle heart, which is the one you actually need, grants you a trait book and the fuse key item. And the heart on the left will get you another trait book. With the fuse in hand, go all the way up back to the main floor and make your way to the main bay power room, which at the very back you will find a breaker box. Pop in the fuse and don't forget to flip the switch to turn power onto this floor. Now that we have power, the computer terminals work again. Get over to Dr. Enji Sato's office. There you will encounter a puzzle. You can figure out this puzzle with the notes in the computer logs. Then you can go into the computer in the middle of the room and enter the code. If you can't solve the puzzle, I will put the code in the description. Now once you enter the code, you can open up the door to the back room here, which will grant you your machine pistol. And we're just about done here. Finally, go back to the main computer area where the root nexus is, and open up the main blast door with that computer terminal here. Then all you need to do is use this nexus one last time, and then break the hearts surrounding the portal to raise them. And that's it for Ward Prime. Have fun in the next world. Thank you all for watching, and good luck out there hunters, and whatever you may be hunting.